Sometimes stuff happens in our lives, but it's to teach us something. In your shadow? Sometimes I want to shine on my own. I think a part of me will always be scared. You alone? I'm so tired. Stay strong. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love the shy, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're going to be talking about the shy season four, episode six. This is the what to expect video for episode six, and it is based off the trailer that they put out last night. Now, the description for the episode reads, Keisha adjusts to her life after birth. Papa tries to broker peace between Kevin and Jake. Jada struggles under the weight of her condition. Nina's suspicions of Dre reaches a peak. Tiff and Dom get a business opportunity. So those are going to be the key elements of the latest episode of The Shy, um, season four, episode six. And of course, the title of the episode is called Candyman. Okay, we're going to see, all right, <laughs> if it's going to be called Candyman, I'm expecting to see some very interesting things in this episode now. You guys, make sure you checked out my episode five recap. I dropped it last night. Um, let me know what you thought about the episode. And let's just get ready for episode six and also get ready for who shot Duda. We know eventually they're going to explain who shot him. Like I told you guys, I don't know if they're going to reveal that in this next episode. If I had to guess, we we're probably going to have to wait to the very end um, to figure out who was the person to shoot Duda. But as you can see, in this trailer, Duda is laid out. Um, the first person that we see that has contact with him is Rose. So does this necessarily rule her out? We know the person had gloves on and it seemed like a leather jacket. Rose does not have that on right here. But at the end of the day, we don't know all the details. Hell, she could be involved in it. So we pretty much got to wait and to see if we can figure out some more details about who shot Duda. At the end of the day, I've been reading some of you guys' um, inputs on this. And a lot of you guys have been saying, of course, Imani, Tracy. And some of you guys have been saying also, it may be someone that we're at least um, expecting to do this. So who is that person that we're overlooking? We're going to talk about that um, very soon. So I want you guys to stay tuned for that video um, later on. Now, also in this trailer, we see your boy, Kevin. He's going to be struggling. And for the first time in a long time, we finally see Kevin having a conversation with Emmett. He needs a good, positive male role model. We've been knowing this since the very beginning of this series. Kevin needs this person to be there for him to help guide him in the right direction. And we know Kevin is going to be going through it. Now we see in the trailer, Emmett is pretty much telling him things happen for a reason. Things in life, they happen to teach you certain lessons. So hopefully Kevin takes this information and uses it. Um, we know in this episode, it's about to go down. As I told you in last night's recap, Kevin is about to turn up in this episode. He will be taking all his frustrations out on Jake and Gemma probably can get it too. Trust me. But as we can see right here, Jake and Gemma, they're having a very good life. Doesn't seem like they care too much about Kevin and his feelings. All they care about is being with each other as of right now. As I told you guys, I don't think that relationship will last anyway. Um, but we know that Kevin will be throwing those hands at Jake. As you can see right here, for the people that say Kevin was scared of Jake and stuff like that, well, you have to remember who Kevin really is. Um, this is a guy that popped, in, he popped Ronnie in the first season. Um, remember, he was real, he was willing to risk his life to catch a bullet um, for his sister Keisha last season um, against Nucky for your buck. So Kevin is not afraid. He only acts out if he really, really feels though he has to and as you can see in this trailer it looks like he drops jake and it's about to beat him down or it is beating him down until they break it up right my question is does kevin get kicked out of school and if that is the case if this guy get kicked out this school it's not going to end well for him man he needs that school he needs um that education but we're going to see what's going to happen within his storyline man i hope your boy kevin is able to make it through in a, the right way now we get to Maisha and Papa, and for the first time in a long time, we see a small little issue within the relationship. Maisha wants to have her shine, and maybe she wants Papa to be in the shadows. And we know that Papa is doing very good with this um, little show that he does, um, but it seems like Maisha is like, look, 
you can sit in the back, let me get the shine this time around. And Papa doesn't really seem too angry about it. He's just asking her like, okay, you want me to be your shadow? And she's like, yeah, you know, I just want to have my, my shine, you know what I'm saying? Do what I do and have fun. We're going to see, man, how serious this is. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. We know Maisha is very talented when it comes to music. Um, and I think when it comes between Papa and Maisha, they always figure out a way to fix things. They don't really have a whole lot of drama within their storyline. So I see it being cool when it's all said and done. Now, Keisha, of course, she will be seeing the baby. And I'm going to tell you right now, she's going to go through some mental struggles because deep down inside, she wants to keep the baby. She wants that bonding time with this child, no matter what. I mean, that's what you expect from a mother, right? She's been having a baby inside her for all these months. And of course, she's been you know, hesitating on this decision on where she wants this baby to go. We know Octavia is a very good lady. It seems like she's willing to work with Keisha. But the question is, how long will she be willing to work with Keisha as far as allowing Keisha to see the baby? Um, at the end of the day, we know Keisha will struggle with that as well as as well as this date that she's going to be going on with Christian made the prediction that she will be dating him. It came true, as we can see in the trailer. Christian tries to touch Keisha's hand. Then she's like snatches, snatches her hand away. Um, she's still going to be going through it, y'all. She has not recovered yet. Um, we talked about this last season about Keisha struggling um, to get back on track in this next season so she's going to be doing that hopefully she can pull through it does seem like the boy christian is going to be there for her he's going to do whatever it takes to make her very comfortable in my opinion now we get to your girl the brat she's going to be playing la portia a truck driver and i'm going to tell you right now she's going to be a challenge she is going to be a challenge to nina and dre's relationship she wants to get it on trust me we're going to talk more about her character this week for you guys i'm going to do a full breakdown about her character but we know she's going to be trying to get with nina and nina's going to be struggling with this because she believes that jada and dre are having this secret relationship she doesn't really know the truth so you know when people think they know something they go out there and they do stupid things um if I'm Nina, you need to really find out the truth. Don't just go out there and, you know, make bad decisions. We know based off this picture right here alone that it's about to go down. Something is about to happen. Nina, she just may make a very huge mistake within this marriage. Hopefully they can figure out, you know, a solution to all of this. But we're definitely going to talk more about that this week. Also in the trailer, we see Jada and she's going to be going through it. She's going to continue to go through this struggle with her condition. We know that Nina is still going to be there for her and this will cause issues. In the description, it says that Nina, um, her suspicions will reach a peak when it comes between her and Dre's relationship. And if Dre is spending all her time with Jada and she is continuing to lie to Nina, I mean, what do you think is going to happen? You know what I'm saying? You can't keep lying to her. You have to tell her the truth eventually. Um, but we know that Jada is still going to need that support and help. Um, but it's going to cause some very harsh issues for their relationship, y'all. Hopefully, Jada is able to pull through this. As of right now, it's not looking too good. We know it's going to be a struggle. We know it's going to get very graphic, very emotional. But this is how it is, man. I mean, it's not going to be an easy journey for her or the people around her man but i can't wait to see how it all unfolds but you guys let me know man what do you think about the episode six trailer um let me know what you think is going to happen we have a lot of storylines to break down this week also we have some more um information on who shot duda so we're going to talk about that as well because it's still you know some characters out there that we have not talked about as you guys said it could always be a person that we're overlooking that we have not talked about um, so you guys stay tuned for that. But like I told you guys, if you have not seen the episode five recap, check that video out, check out the playlist and keep yourself updated on all the latest of the shy season four content. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me go now to here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.